the concrete jungle, weighing in at 280 pounds, the heavy hitter, I say you're welcome I am making this commentary awesome as uh, our good friend uh, Mike Grasso once you said well, Grasso is staring daggers into your soul as he walked into this contest what's that all about I, I mean it's just Mike Grasso has, has always since going to this mind eraser gimmick has really unnerved me but Shea Cash is not taking anything here as Big shot right to the midsection and a big club to the back of Mike Rossa. Here's the bit, Rob. It's not just a gimmick. Both oars have not been in the water for Mike Rossa for many a years, and it's just all the damage from concussions have culminated into the, the unorthodox, violent man that we know as the mind eraser. Exactly. He, sh he shouldn't be even uh, be wrestling. Sh shouldn't be there. I don't know why he's here. He's going to get hurt. He always does. Well, I mean... As, as Gross gets sent into the corner, uh, you know, Nick, you, you, you're hurt yourself currently. People can say the same thing, that you've been hurt uh, uh, a couple of different times. I've been hurt once, Rob. I'm just telling, I'm just telling you what people to say. As Mike Gross fires yeah. in at, at, at Shady Shea Cash, uh, the heavy hitter Shea Cash. Let me ask you, does it actually look like I care what people say about me? No, absolutely not. Because I'm better than everyone. Thank you. Well, the confidence is unwavering by uh, the, the former all-around athlete, now known as the showman, Nick Marchand. Grasa charges and nobody home, trips up. Shea Cash and Mike Grasa, well, he's taking Cash to the outside, and this is where Mike Grasa is especially dangerous. He lays in those forearms and those strikes. Grasa posts Shady Shea Cash, and Cash on the outside is in a bad way. He just took a whole lot of pull to that face. Of the ring post, that is. And Nick Marshawn, you might not be able to see it here on camera, but he's sitting beside us, is, is looking on uh, with with uh, a, a smug smile, you could say, as Mike Rasa now eats the barricade. Marshawn clearly in favor of the heavy hitter, Shea Cash, giving him a round of applause. Bob, Rob, I think there's some bad blood here. I mean, you could, you could tell that there's some bad blood here, and... and I mean, Mike, I, I know you don't like, uh, excuse me, Nick, I know you don't like Mike Ross, apologies, but you know, what? you're you're technically not active right now, aside from just sitting out here and apparently making commentary better, what, what, what is your purpose, of, why'd you pick this match? What do you think, Rob? I mean, I just want to see uh, my former, you know, good friend, Mike Rossig, 
get his ass kicked, which is uh, he currently is getting his ass kicked right now, if I you know don't stand corrected. Jay Cash is, is choking out Mike Ross is admonished by Jeremy Bell, our senior official here. Now with the uh, lateral press and a, I believe a forearm to the eyes of Mike Ross, only got a one count. Rasa being a, a very resilient fighter here, he's probably going to be able to match up with Shea's size quite well. And he's got to get himself back to a vertical base though. Rasa is a striker, that is his mode of attack. Right now, he's just not giving out any offense. It's not good. It's because he's not as good a striker as I am. I'm a much better striker. But again, you're not in you're not in this match. So let's let's if you're out here to, to make commentary better, if you were Mike Grosso right now, what would you do to uh, reverse your, your current uh, state? I wouldn't. I just give up. Look at him. Look at him. I am not Mike Grosso. Don't ever compare me to Mike Grosso. I will hurt you, Rob. I, I, wasn't I will hurt you. I, I, all right, all right. Let, let's let's cool it down a bit. Let's be professionals about this. As Mike Rossa is throwing shots to the midsection of Shea Cash. Oh, big back elbow by the heavy hitter Shea Cash. And Mike Rossa in a bad way. Cover here. One, two, and a kick out. You can hear uh, Nick Marshawn uh, applauding at every hard hit that the heavy hitter Shea Cash delivers to Mike Rossa. Just the refs count too slow. That's all. Just count too slow. Ever the critic as he is a competitor in his own right, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't necessarily uh, discredit Marshan's uh, take on the situation. I don't necessarily agree, but it's neither here nor there. Big shot to the back there by Shea Cash. I didn't really ask you to agree. Uh, I didn't really uh, ask you to agree second time. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Big scoop and a slam. By Shea Cash, cover here, one, two, and I tell you what, it's been a long time since I've seen Mike Rossa dominated like this by anybody here. Shady Shea Cash, excuse me, the heavy hitter Shea Cash, is trying to make a name for himself in singles competition after his tag team partner, Frank Champion, uh, hung up the boots. I don't know, something tells me that Champion might be back. I'm not sure he's walking away from good. This crowd trying to get behind Mike Rossa. Mike Rossa is feeling whatever it is that goes through his head. Big back uh, elbow to Shea Cash and another clubbing blow as Nick Marchand cheers from the sidelines. I mean, could Shea Cash potentially have a new partner in the uh, in the showman here? I, I, I think it'd be a pretty solid. Shut up, Bob. Well, uh, there goes. Bobby Rossi just unplugged Nick Marshawn's microphone I'm here. Not gonna Big be boot! That my own boot. Big not boot happen. by Mike Rossa. You may have a hair across your ass with Mike Rossa and how things happen in RWA, but you're either going to change your tune or you're going to take your ass backstage. And I, my partner here as we try to get uh, a little bit of... Uh, Mike Rossa is trying, going for that big, oh my god, what a spine to the pine, going for that drop kick, cover one, two, and a kick out just at two, just at two and a half, there to Shady Shea Cash, the heavy hitter Shea Cash almost had a victory here, Mike Rossa did not hit the if he dies, he dies drop kick, and Shea Cash is beside himself. I don't know what to say, it's definitely... What's our referee's name? Jeremy? Is that his name? Jeremy. Jeremy. That was his fault. He clearly didn't count fast enough. I've been saying this the whole match. He's in clearly in favor of, uh, what's it, Mind Eraser, Mike Rossa? Clearly. Shady Shea Cash is not landing any of those strikes, and Rossa is hitting him himself, laying in the chops, the forearms, and he might be feeling it here. Irish whip reversed by Shea Cash, reversed again by Rossa. Rossa stepping over, Ooh. big tornado uh, forearm laid into Shady Shea Cash. Come on, Shay, get up. Get up, Shay. Come on. And Nick Rossa Marsh now looks like he's gonna take charge. Oh no! no! Forearm there by Shay Cash. Atta boy. Shay Cash trying to get back in the ring. Grasa pulls him in. Big bulldog. Here's a cover. One, two, and a kick out. Just a two. Jeremy Bell says this match will continue. Ladies and gentlemen, not being picked up by our camera. Marshawn is seething in his seat. Looks like he wants to jump in. Uh, I mean, I think so, but it wouldn't be advised there by his uh, by his doctor, supposedly, is what I've been told. Cross is going for that drop kick. This time he hits it! And this could be the beginning of the end for Shea Cash. Rasa steps over, cover one, two, and a kick out just at two. I, I can't anymore. Excuse me, guys. 
Well, like, well it looks as if the, the, the showman now has gotten beyond frustrated here. He's moved down his, his, his monitor here, and I... Oh, this is not going to end. This is wait, not going to end well. Rasa on the outside trying to bring Shea Cash inside. And look at... Look at Wait, Nick Marshawn's on the apron. And he's got Mike Ross's mask. Grasso wants his mask, and he's, he's being lured out by Nick Marshawn. Jay this. Cash pulls in Grasso. Up Grasso goes, plants him down. Here's a cover. One, two, and three. Distracted by the by by Nick Marshawn grabbing his mask, getting right inside of the mind of the mind eraser, drawing his attention away from his opponent, basically giving Shady Shane Cash the heavy hitter the victory here tonight. And I mean our audio, we apologize for the audio, but what you did hear with Nick Marshawn, because he was not expected to be out here at commentary here, ladies and gentlemen. We had to, uh, if I could borrow a phrase, Jerry Rig. Uh, this, this whole setup here for Marshawn, but Marshawn, as you said, Bobby, and, and I don't know why he was going after you so much, but he's got a hair across his ass about this whole company and how he's being treated, especially with Mike Grasa. And, and Marshawn, I don't know what his goals is other than getting the head of Mike Grasa. I feel as though he, he's feeling insecure, knowing that he can't compete, knowing that he's waiting for a doctor's clearance. He needs to get inside of Mike Grasa's head because you know what? I have a sneaking suspicion that he feels that Grasa very soon down the line could be the downfall of Marshawn. Well, Nick Marshawn rubbing it in the face of Mike Grasa. And not even really laying in hard strikes, just just taunting Mike Grasa. And I tell you what, Mike Grasa is not going to take this. He's not going to take this uh, lying down as he is reeling from that power slam. Mike Grasa is going to be back, and Nick Marshawn's days may be numbered. Well, minus the interference by Marshawn, I got to say it was pretty much a back and forth matchup, neck and neck the whole way through. Grasa, not Grasa. We'll be right back. More RWA Perseverance right after this. Thank <laughs> you.